hello everyone this is anusha this is my first video on youtube today i'm going to explain 561 zip code question array partition it is one of the easiest problem given an integer array nums of 2n integers group these integers into n pairs a1 comma b1 a2 comma b2 so on up to an comma bn such that sum of min ai comma bi for all i is maximized and we need to return the maximized sum in this example one they given the nums of 1 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 we can group the integers into the following pairs they given in the three cases they given 1 comma 4 2 comma 3 if we minimize it in this we will get 1 in this we will get 2 comma 3 we will get 2 after returning we will get 3 but if we automatically if we use it by the sorting function we will get the values like get the values like 1 2 3 3 4 okay in this in this pair we will get minimum value as 1 in this pair we will get minimum value as 3 by adding them we will get the value is 4 that value we are returning in this example too they given nums of consist of 6 comma 2 comma 6 comma 5 comma 1 comma 2 and we are getting the output as 9 now we can enter into the coding how it will work uh in the line number 3 they given uh, we give they given ar array of pair sum as one function and we are passing the parameters vector in and address of nums uh in the line number 4 we are taken one answer variable we are storing the zero in that the variable will be used to store uh, used to store the sum of the minimum elements of each pair in the line number 5 we are taking one sort function we are sorting the num 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 vector elements in the line number 6 we are taking one the for loop which will iterate through the elements within the indices of even indices like 0 2 4 and so on uh for each iteration we it adds the current element to the current element to the answer variable it for each iteration it will go on adding finally what will finally the function returns the value in the answer variable this is the logic okay um now dry run the program then we will come to know how with the how the code will really work First time the answer will be zero. After sorting, our values will be changed to one, two, three, four. Our for loop will be starts. Uh, when i equals to zero, our answer value first time it will be stored as zero plus nums of zero means one, and that will add to one. The condition is true, so our i value will jump to two. Our i value will jump to. Now we need to take, see the index two value. Nums of two value what is there? Three. Yeah, we should take three plus equals to four. Yeah. Now our i value will be incremented to four, but its size is up to four, up to three. So our condition is false. It will come out of the for loop. Uh, our answer value will be four. We are returning. now we can run the code if it will work or not we can see yeah so all test cases are passed let's submit the code yeah now let's see about the time complexity and space complexity time complexity is big of n log n because we are using the sorting function we are using the sorting function so the time complexity is big of n log n and space complexity is big of 1 because we are not using any extra space it is only the constant amount of space only big of n for space for sort function it will take uh, like time as more 
like average time complexity like b of n log n thank you guys watching for my video